and the Lions, meanwhile, have been displaced at the top of the standings after being uh, beaten by the Blues last week. They host the Sun Wolves in Johannesburg this weekend. Sunday's game sees the Jaguares play against the Reds. Of course, the fixture of most concern to the Stormers is the one against the Blues at Newlands on Saturday. Stormers coach Robbie Fleck joins us now uh, from Cape Town. And it has been somewhat of a disastrous start to your campaign. Where has it all gone so wrong for the Stormers, Robbie? Yeah, I think that um, the slow start has been a couple of things. I think obviously we've been on tour down under and in New Zealand, which is not exactly an easy task, uh, you know, starting off there. And then um, we've obviously had a number of injuries, but, uh, you know, there's no excuse around that. Um, you know, it's been a slow start for us, but on tour we felt that we've improved along the way and um, we've obviously got another weekend now to, um, you know, rectify things and, and get another win under our belt. And for those who say that... It has been a bit of a disastrous campaign as well under your leadership and call for you to step down. I mean, how do you respond to, to the people saying that? Yeah, look, I mean, I think that, um, you know, the Stormers is a well-supported team and obviously there are a lot of expectations for us to do well um, continuously and every year. So, uh, look, it's um, from my side, uh, you know, we've got our challenges this year and we've got a tough draw. And as I said, we've had those injuries. So, look, it's still early days in the competition and, uh, you know, we certainly are excited to get things right and uh, and improve on the, on the start. If we can move away from the Stormers just very quickly... Which of the teams in the competition have impressed you most so far? Well, it's difficult to say, actually. I mean, I think that, um, you know, it's a very tough competition this year where it's strength versus strength once again. And uh, there's no outright uh, leaders from our side. I think that, uh, obviously, the New Zealand teams are as strong as, as usual. And the Lions have got it to a good start. But they came unstuck on the weekend. And, uh, you know, there's possible signs there for them, you know, where they're going to struggle as well, you know. So it's uh, everyone is, you know, competing exceptionally hard this year. And, um, you know, a lot of teams still have to go down and then tour there and a lot of New Zealand teams still have to come to South Africa. So uh, it's, I think it's going to be a pretty close competition this year. If I can ask you as well your opinion on the Springbok selecting Rassi Erasmus as the new coach? Yeah, look, I mean, Rassi's got a lot of experience and... Um, you know, he's been overseas now and had some experience in Europe, will, which will hold him in good stead. I think that he can only add value to uh, South African rugby in general and as a whole. So, uh, you know, we're looking forward to seeing what he can do. And, um, you know, and it's a new, you know, campaign for them and the players. And I'm sure that um, he'll bring something different to the table, which uh, the players and, and hopefully, you know, South African rugby will appreciate. And what is that something different that he needs to do? What does he need to do to turn things around with the Springbok? Well, you know, I mean, obviously, culturally, I think that we need to get things right back at the Springboks. I mean, obviously, it's been tough, you know, the last two years for them, and uh, we need to start creating a winning culture again. And um, obviously, game plan ways, game plan wise, you know, he'll bring something different. Which, like I said, he learned a lot uh, coaching in Munster, so uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, he's got a tough job, you know, to change things within a year but um you know before the world cup next year but um you know he's got the experience and uh, the tools necessary to do so and if i can just go back to the stormers and the blues clash at sat on on uh, saturday at newlands how much of a uh, benefit is it going to be having your own fans cheer you on in your stadium because as we mentioned earlier it has been quite a tough tour <laughs> Yeah, look, it's it's always great to be playing back at home. And um, like I said, you know, our first game at home was was a good one against the Jaguars, and then we went immediately on tour, which was tough. And then now we've got two games at home to, to get back on the winning track. And, uh, you know, it's important for us, you know, to play well in front of our fans. You know, we've got a good support base, and uh, they've been great over the past couple of years. So, um, you know, we're looking forward to getting back, uh, um, you know, and playing at Newlands. And you would have studied the Blues game against the Lions as well. Uh, anything you can take out of out, out of that game? Yeah, look, I mean, I think that the Blues um, are a much improved side. Um, you know, they're tactically better than what they were last year, and they showed that against the Lions. It's not easy to win up at Ellis Park at altitude, and uh, they certainly were the dominant side in the second half, and they deserved their win. So. Uh, We've got our challenges and, um, you know, regardless of our injury situation, you know, our boys are pretty pumped to go out there and, and, and play in front of the home crowd and, uh, and do them some uh, do them justice. 
Robbie Fleck, coach of the Stormers. Appreciate your time talking to us from Cape Town. Thank you.